We've got the Sugar Bowl, and we've got Baylor taking on Ole Miss. Now, Lane Kiffin against Dave Aranda, this is a fun matchup. Ole Miss favored by one and a half. The problem that I have with Baylor currently is Jerry Bohannon is going to start, and he's still dealing with an injury. And now Blake Shapin, the backup quarterback, is also dealing with an injury. I, if you, you need those quarterbacks to be able to run your offense so that you can score on Ole Miss. I understand if you look at the numbers for Ole Miss, they are, uh, let's see, Ole Miss defense, number 105 PPA per rush. That's not good. They are number 104 defensive uh, rushing success rate allowed. Baylor is going to be able to run the football, but if Ole Miss were to put nine guys in the box, you're going to have to have somebody throw the football a little bit to get them to ease out of there. So I'm I'm curious what the injuries at quarterback for Baylor are going to mean in this game. That is certainly not a good good spot. Along with that, Ole Miss may be able to find some explosive running plays against that Baylor defense. While they are like number 11 in stuff rate, they are number 117 in uh, in defensive rushing explosiveness allowed. That's crazy. Like <laughs> You can get big time rushes on them. And Matt Corral and Jerrion Ely and Snoop Connor, etc. Th- those guys will be able to find something. So I am going to ride with Ole Miss because they've got the healthy quarterback. Matt Corral is excited about playing this game. Ole Miss fans always get fired up for the Liberty Bowl, the Liberty Bowl, the Sugar Bowl down in uh, New Orleans. So did we even talk about the bowl gifts? On, or bowl gifts? Nope, we did not. The gift suite. Here we go. Here we go. This is at Caesars Superdome in New Orleans. The gift suite, a fossil watch, a new era hat, and a hooded t-shirt. But that gift suite better be nice. Now, don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hat and the watch and, you know, a hoodie. But uh, but that gift suite better be something serious. You know, if you got uh, a PlayStation 5 coming from the Fiesta Bowl and a $400 Amazon gift card from the Citrus Bowl, I mean, uh, you better hook these boys up, Sugar Bowl. What are y'all doing? Uh, I do like Ole Miss, though. Minus one and a half. Uh, would not surprise me to see Baylor win. Obviously, a close spread like that. Dave Aranda with, you know, uh, weeks, a month to prepare defensively for a Lane Kiffin offense. That could be very interesting. But I do trust Matt Corral more than I trust a banged-up Bohannon. So that's the way that that one goes. I will roll Ole Miss minus one and a half. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.